Hi everybody and thank you so much for joining me. My name is Deborah Lynn and if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a very loose, semi-abstract floral and I'm gonna be using some Mission Gold Magello paints. And these paints are highly pigmented and they're extremely juicy. When I say juicy, I mean when you put your palette away and you come back days later, they're still gonna be moist and kind of tacky to the touch. So they never really kind of dry out like cakey-like, which I love. So I love, 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 love my Magello paints. Uh, they're perfect for um, if you do a lot of florals like myself. Uh, they have a lot of punch to the color. So what I did here, you guys, I grabbed a fan brush. It's an acrylic fan brush. It's just, it's a little bit stiffer and it kind of gives, gives me that kind of texture that you see on the paper there. And I filled up my, um, my brush with, oh, let's see, what did I put down? I put bright clear violet down and cobalt blue number one so i put that down and then i kind of went around the edge and kind of kind of blended that pigment out you can see me pulling it there towards the outside edge of the paper just kind of blending everything outward and i kind of just randomly um put these uh marks down i didn't really think about it too much and um, I want the piece to look very abstract. And if you think about it too much, it sometimes can seem like it's, n it's not quite right. So the less I think sometimes the better, believe it or not. So I, and I just kind of go with the flow um, and just kind of let the paints take me on a journey instead of me taking the paints on one. So, um, I like I said, I'm just blending out these colors now. Now I'm just kind of, kind of directing the flow from the right, top right to the bottom left. I am now dropping in some. I think this is olive green that's going down. One of my favorite green colors, and um, just dropping that in. So that there is green, so that gives it a sense of maybe some leaves in the background and stuff like that. And now I'm going in and I'm grabbing, let's see, let's see, which one am I? Red Violet. Red Violet, and I think I also have some of that bright clear violet going down. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blend that out. So I'm kind of staying in the same color palette. I'm not, um, I do end up throwing in some uh, permanent yellow deep in the centers, um, but you gotta be really careful when you do that because you're going from cool colors to warm colors and you can get mud, so you can't really mess around. Once I put that, uh, that yellow down, I have to be cognizant not to mess with it too much. Did I say that word right? I'm not even sure I said that word right. But I think you guys get the gist of what I was saying there. And I'm blending everything outward. And a lot of times you guys have to watch my videos until the very end to see how I pull things all together. Um, most of my pieces will look like an extreme hot mess happening, but it's getting all the pigments down removing some of the pigments and doing a layering technique and I will get into that here just in a few moments and you'll see me throwing down one ply paper and grabbing that pigment and uh, reducing it and then building the colors up again. So I have highs and lows within my painting so it doesn't look just like one, um, one solid thing of uh, paint. There's highs and lows. And there I'm putting that uh, permanent yellow deep down and of course the green and the blue is blending right into it and it is kind of getting a little murky there but I go ahead and I grab it 
and I kind of uh, um, save it a little bit by just throwing some of that paper down. And as I pull this paper off, you'll see that it gives it a nice effect. It calmed it all down. Now I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to rebuild this again. Kind of doing the same thing all over again. And you guys, I just wanna let you know that uh, I have a new Facebook group for you guys. Um, sometimes you guys wanna connect with me or you wanna post maybe something that you've were, that you've done uh, that was inspired by one of my tutorials and you want to share it with me that's a perfect place it's a private group so you'll get in you'll answer a couple qu little questions and then i'll i'll let you in and then uh you can uh hang out and post pictures of what you're working on and uh we can all get to know each other and also visit my Instagram. I could use some followers also over there. And on the YouTube here, in order to keep moving forward with my YouTube, um, I need you to like. If you like what you're seeing, please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe and the bell. And that will definitely boost me into the community and I would greatly appreciate that. And now I'm going in and I'm throwing down some bright violet. I'm just putting another color in and it's just making this painting sing, isn't it? These Magello paints are fabulous. Uh, and, and you can get a really good price for a whole set of them. And they're, um, they're definitely worth investing in. And now I'm going out and I'm just kind of creating some green um, effects, branching out from the sides. And now I'm throwing a little bit of soap down and that soap is just kind of pushing the pigments around, creating uh, a unique effect and just pushes the pigment around and it makes it cool. I don't use too much of it. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna adjust a little bit of the water because if I don't do that, I'm gonna have pools of water all over the paper and I don't want that. And plus it gives me the high and lows that I want. I pull that off and there's another layer. Now I'm just using the edge of the tube of paint and I'm kind of just little drawing the um, petals with the tube and just putting some texture on the paper. And it's kind of scoring the paper just a little bit and it's also dropping some pigment in. And I'll go in and here in just a moment and I'll run my wet brush along that and that'll activate that color and kind of make it, uh, it, it'll make it vibrant, but it also will leave some areas will still have that um, mark making from the edge of that tube of paint. See up at that top, top flower, right now there's just all those petals. It looks a little bit contrived and I will calm that down by when I wet it with the water and reactivate everything. If I was to leave it right where it is right now, I, I, I really don't like it quite so much like that. I think it needs to be um, just mellowed out a little bit. And I went in, I think, with some of that green and just dropped some bold green in. Balance out the color a little bit. That center was had a, a white spot, so I had to go in and uh, just grab some pigments and 
kind of close it up just a little bit. There you can see I'm kind of reactivating that paint. And you can see that I'm not hitting every spot. I'm hitting random areas. And now I'm throwing some more of that permanent yellow deep, kind of intensifying that a little bit. That ends up being kind of in the background. And you'll see how I eventually build on top of it. It just seemed like it, it, it needed to be calmed down a little bit. It, I didn't want it to take center stage. And it looked like it's all you see is those little orange blobs or yellow blobs. So I did calm that down. And I now I'm just throwing in just a little bit of uh, soap, seeing if that will push the pigment around. But it wasn't doing much. So um, I end up using Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. You'll see that coming into play here in just a moment. That is a uh, very opaque correction medium actually is what it is there it is i'm dropping it all over the sheet a sheet of paper um, what i do is i go in and i fill my quill up with it my quill is already wet i go into the martin's bleed proof then i dip it in the water and get it wet again and then i go and i kind of uh throw it all over my painting so it gets that bouquet effect and the soap also gives me that bouquet effect, so, which is what I'm looking for. I'm just still throwing some more, of the, some more of that yellow down. Now I'm just going in and I'm kind of putting some twigs in or branches, stems, whatever you want to call them. And I'm throwing the green in the center now, kind of trying to calm that yellow down. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't digging it too much. And then I'm going to get the Dr. P.H. Martin out and I'm going to load up my um, brush with that. And then I'm going to work on the centers of the flowers and kind of throw some of that white in there. And that white is going to mix with the paint a little bit and create um, some nice kind of pastel looking colors. So it turned out really cool in the center and I was pleased with it. And, but it's very loose. It's very loose. It's, it, it's a little bit crazy, but I like it. I think it turned out really cute. You'll have to let me know what you think of it. Uh, just drop me a comment and let me know what you think. Okay, you guys. Well, that's my painting. Thank you so much for joining me. Be safe, be well, and God bless. Until next time. Bye for now.